Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Freely. So as a creator here on YouTube, I rely on cloud storage to get a lot of my work done. So whether it's editing a document on the go or sharing photo assets with my team, cloud storage has just been a more and more common and needed thing for everyday life. Just having a backup of all your photos is just a great idea to have, not only just because it's more safer to have a backup of your photos somewhere rather than keeping it on a hard drive, but also because it's very convenient because you can access those photos, those documents, those files, whatever, anywhere you want. As you may or may not know, Google Photos recently killed off their free tier for photo storage, which was a choice for just a lot of people around the world because it was so conveniently connected with their Gmail account. So if you had a Gmail, you had Google Photos, and you had just unlimited storage, but not anymore. If you're one of those people looking for alternatives to Google Photos due to that recent change, but you're also very privacy-minded and you want something more private, and you don't like the idea of big tech conglomerates having access to your data on a centralized server, look no further than to Crypti Photos. So I've been using Crypti for a little under a year now and I'm proud to say that this video is sponsored by Crypti. Special thanks to Crypti for sponsoring this video but let's get right into it. Crypti is a private and encrypted place to write your personal documents, notes or journals, and store your photos and other files. It's kind of a mix between Google Photos and Google Keep but open source, private, and encrypted. In today's video I'll be focusing on on the photo aspect of their service. Crypti's encrypted cloud photo storage service is the best place to store your private photos. Your photos are encrypted before they leave your device, so they can't see your photos and no one else can either. Only you have access to your photos. So right now, I'll go through a list of features that Crypti has. So first off, everything is encrypted and built with privacy in mind. So that's one of the main reasons that I went to Crypti because I was looking for a service kind of like Google Photos, kind of like Google Keep that was built from the ground up to be encrypted and to be private. So if privacy and encryption is what you're looking for for a cloud storage service, um, Crypti is the way to go. Next feature is that they retain the original quality of the photos that you upload. So unlike other services where they downgrade the quality of the photo, um, Crypti keeps the original photo quality. This is the equivalent of you lending your friend Jim your pristine copy of Horizon Zero Dawn for several weeks, but when you ask him for the game back, he returns it to you all broken and battered and not in the original quality that you originally gave it to him. So that's what Crypti does not do. They return your files in the exact same form that you uploaded it at. So that's really cool. The next feature is that you can tag your photos either individually or in bulk, just like hashtags on Instagram or Twitter. So for example, I have some pictures from Hawaii. I can hashtag those photos with hashtag Hawaii, hashtag beach, um, just like how you do on Instagram. So it's pretty straightforward. But in addition to that, they also have this cool feature of being able to search your photos that you tag in natural language. So for example, if you type up in the search box, pics from January this year, it'll bring up all the pictures from January of this year. And notice how when I search it up, I just use natural language of literally typing out what I just said. And on top of that, all the tags that you tag your photos are encrypted, so not even Crypti can see what you're tagging the photos. So the next feature is being able to ghost your albums. So this is a really cool feature that I like because this makes it so that if you ghost your album, that album is not able to be found or searched or anything once you have ghosted it. So as you can see here, I have three different albums. And for whatever reason, if I wanted to ghost an album, I click on this plus and it'll click on the ghost option and to ghost the actual album you have to type in the name of the album so this album name is Hawaii film and you hit the ghost button so what that's gonna do is that it's going to hide this album and I can no longer find this album even if I search for it so if I type here Hawaii and yep there are no results for Hawaii in my crypti so from there, you won't be able to find it, but if I click on Summon Album, type in Hawaii Film, and hit Summon, it'll bring back that album. So as you can see there, it's back, and all the pictures um, that were inside there are all there. And that's a demonstration on the Ghost Albums. So all in all, Ghost Albums is just another really cool tool that Crypti has at your disposal. And in addition to all those features, creating albums is super easy. The upload of your photos is pretty much a drag and drop and you can favorite pictures. So they have a lot of the features that like major big players in the cloud storage space have, but they're all encrypted and they're all private. So that's really cool. 
So if you're currently looking for cloud storage alternatives or you're migrating um, all your stuff from Google Photos over to a different service, look no further than to Crypti. If you guys wanna learn more about Crypti, I'll have them linked down in the description below. I'll also have a link to their security page so you guys can read about how their security works. For all my technical people out there and for people who are interested in this kind of stuff, Crypti is also a progressive web app, so installation is super easy and you get all the benefits of being a progressive web app. On a side note though, I really appreciate how Crypti is very transparent with all the information on their website. If you just check and you explore their website, they make it really easy for people to understand all the information on there. Even with the terms and conditions, instead of just reading that large page of legal jargon, they have a human readable section where it just basically translate what the, the legal person said into like human language for me and you. So I really appreciate that and I really commend them for making it easy for us to understand. Make sure you smash the like button on this video if this video really helped you guys because it really helps my channel get all my videos um, out there to you guys. And let me know in the comments below if you end up switching to Crypti or if you never heard of it. Let me know what you guys think about Crypti. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this isn't my usual content, but for sure I'll have regular content up pretty soon. So thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next one.